you guys, it's Carrie from My Table 3. Thanks so much for coming back by the channel. If you're new here, thanks for checking it out. I hope you enjoy what you see. Go back and check out all my previous videos if you're interested in recipes, uh, grocery shopping hauls, and lots more. So, let's get started. Today is October 14th. It's Saturday. And it is also the first trip of our groceries for the month. If you're new here, or if you don't remember from past videos, I shop twice a month on Saturdays. We drive about an hour to a local, well, it's local for us because we're used to going, but about an hour down the road, there is the Aldi's, and that is the closest Aldi's to us, and a couple of discount grocery stores that we love to shop at. Some people think it's crazy that we drive an hour, but honestly, even with the gas and the mileage on the vehicle, we save so much money from shopping here. So, I highly recommend, if you have all these new, nearby, check it out. And if you can Google in your area to see if there are any discount grocery stores, that's great also. Our discount grocery store is just a store that gets excess or overstock items from other stores like you'll often see great value brands from walmart you'll see kroger brands most recently i've seen fit and active brands and those are aldi brands so they just get a variety of things sometimes you have to watch the dates because they're close dates um that's probably why they get them maybe the store got so much of them and they're getting closer to date so they're you know pushing it out trying to sell it before it goes all day so if you get those items just watch the date stick them in the freezer and they'll work out great they're great budget savers but most of the time we find things that are still in date with plenty of time, which is super exciting. So today I thought I would share with you our whole experience. How I start with my meal plan, my grocery list, and what our freezer and fridge looks like before we go shopping. After the three weeks of <coughs> excuse me, uh, eating on the last grocery shopping. And then I'll show you what it looks like uh, once we fill it up. So... Let's get started. We have a long, busy day, and I'm happy all to right, you guys here all. is where I have been started uh, yesterday and today working on my grocery list. This is Aldi shopping list, and this will continue on the back. And then this is from our uh, discount grocery store. <clears throat> and you'll see I don't have a long list on here. These are just the things that I know they have a lot of times, so I put those on the list. <coughs> oh, excuse me. got something in my throat. And then this other will fill up quickly for when I see what they have this week um, that we need. Now, they'll have a lot of uh, tons of things to process, like cookies and crackers and chips. And we don't always buy those things. We do sometimes enjoy those things. And this week, I will probably pick up some on this list because in a couple of weeks, we have my son's birthday party. And he will have all kinds of family and kids here, and we'll share that with them. So, with all these, I go ahead and I put down the staples. I know I need garlic powder, seasonings, eggs, milk, butter, half and half. You can see just down on the list. These are basically my staples that I get just about every time. So, not a whole lot of variety here. Um, that'll change a little bit, but not always. I know we need these things. We use these in our meal plan. So, those are staples. And you'll see when I do the grocery haul at the end. So, I have started my menu plan. I will plan for two weeks. Uh, this is week one, which is October the 15th through the 20th. Today is the 14th, and on grocery day, we just have sandwiches or wraps or something really easy because I don't want to be gone all day and then come home and cook. So, Sunday, we're just going to do easy. You've seen this before in videos. If you haven't, um, I'll try and show it again. We just eat some kielbasa sausage and like a salad because it's real easy for me to throw in the crock pot and it's ready for after church. Monday, we're going to have a pizza casserole because I am craving pizza. So I thought that would be a great alternative. It's low carb. It's going to be trim healthy mama ass with the veggie. Pulled pork sandwiches on our low carb buns. Chili dog in a bowl. Uh, some pan seared chicken strips or baked chicken strips and mashed cauliflower. Bacon cheeseburger bowls. And that is one of my recipes on the blog. Super easy dinner, guys. I'll put the link below to that recipe. And sorry, the lighting's not the bad. And these are just our breakfasts. Bacon and egg, low carb pancakes, and leftovers. Anybody else eat leftovers for breakfast? Sometimes I get sick of breakfast food, and leftovers is where it's at. Now, here's the other thing. There's week two. I have not planned week two, and that is because I am, this is using stuff that I still have on hand with a few things that I'll need for the list. But week two is going to be based on what I find at Aldi's and the grocery store. So I will show you what our fridge and freezer look like next, and then try and take you along with us as we do our shopping today. Guys, let's take a look Look at my beautiful artwork. Isn't that beautiful? Nate does such a good job. These are just some church projects he has done and brought home. 
And down here is a list of his to-do, because he gets his list making for mom. <laughs> Isn't it cute? YouTube, because he has his own little YouTube channel. He practices as a part of art, chores, work for mom, help dad, things. So cute. Anyway, purpose of this is to look at our fridge. ta -da. <laughs> we have a little tiny bit of half and half left of some almond milk and this is um, from the dairy uh, just a few miles from here so that is um, raw unpasteurized milk which is delicious and it's so healthy and uh, my son drinks whole milk if you've seen in the video so that is a little bit of that I'll have to pick up some more milk to supplement that until we get back to the dairy these are water bottles that we will take with us on our trip so basically just a few things left some apples and an onion and celery one head of cauliflower left i gotta grab some more and then these are just uh it's messy but i need to work on it but condiments so this is what i like about shopping every couple of weeks is you don't have any waste i use up everything i used to have lots of vegetables and things go to waste because i forgot about them but this way i do not and here's a look at the side freezer we will have tons of veggies in here. We have some bacon down there, some okra from my mom's garden, some frozen bananas. Down there, guys, is what we have left of our venison, which is not much, but thankfully it's fall and deer season has started again, so we shall fill that back up by Christmas. And these, if you can see them, are just my nut uh, stash for bacon and stuff. So that's what the freezer and fridge look like now in the kitchen. It will fill back up. Thankfully, no waste, so we did good there. And now I'm gonna take you and check you show you my deep freeze what all is left in there before it's we start in my yet. laundry room guys but here is the small chest freezer that we have it's pretty empty also it's time to restock it so hopefully i find some great deals today like i said we're low on deer so that usually takes up a lot oh i can't open it because <laughs> i opened it just shortly ago and it had to seal oh there we go all right so you can see not much left in here see if it'll focus and it's not going to is it Let's see if I'm good. There we go. So we have, this is chicken over here. It's a big thing of chicken breast, which I need more of. Chicken legs. And I think this back here is just some uh, chicken, uh, like, uh, thigh quarters. And all that bacon that we've picked up. Probably pick up some more if we find it. <laughs> I think there are, like, 23 pounds in here. Crazy, right? There are three loaves of the bread that I've picked up, ordered from Angel Bakehouse that my son enjoys, and just a half of a pork loin roast so I'm looking pretty empty and it's time for mama to fill it back up so I hope we can find some good deals I'm gonna try and take you guys with me but you know how busy the stores are so we'll see what we can do I'm gonna show you how we pack the car to go on our trip next okay guys so we have coolers this cooler here has all our I freeze water bottle I would open it but I'll show you later like uh, drink bottles and just plastic bottles I fill with ice I keep them in the deep freeze we take them with us so that we can keep everything cool these are my bags that I will use when I shop at Aldi's. Because if any of you shop at Aldi's, you know they, you can purchase bags there. But we just have these reusable ones. And so we take those. Two big coolers. These will have food in them that are frozen or need to be kept cool. Because it is fall here, like I said, October the 14th. But in Arkansas, it is going to be in the 90s today. So we had cooler weather this week. Very enjoyable, but... In this time of year in Arkansas, you're lucky to get what you get when it comes to fall. So we got our coolers ready for all our food, so nothing to go bad while we're doing our shopping today and traveling. And so the next thing we're gonna do is get on the road and head to our first dip. Somebody left a buggy. They didn't want to take it back to get their quarter. So 
Now we will take it back. So we will help Aldi up. No, you don't think we should take it? It's gonna just sit here. If we don't, we're gonna return it. Yes. Nathan, it's okay. They're not here, bud. Here we go, guys. Let's go in and see some party. It's gonna be so busy in here. I don't know how much I can record. <laughs> Time to bag up. We're gonna bag it. <laughs> they don't want me bogging in all these eggs. All right, let's get bagged up. All right, you guys, here's what the back of the car looks like. We just got all these, got everything packed up. You can see the coolers are packed. All of them couldn't hardly close the lid. This one we didn't, so we had to put extra ice packs. I did not get a chance to film in the discount store because it was so full, and you saw maybe a few clips from all day. I don't know if I'll be able to put those in or not, but. We're all packed up. It's time for me to go home, get all this stuff laid out, and show you the haul. We're going to start with the non-food, and this is all from my discount grocery store. I spent a total of $80 there. I think I did really well, but I will show you everything. Always remember to be kind and remember that to each his own. So there will be stuff in here that my child eats that you may not approve of. But that's okay because I respect what you guys eat and I know you guys respect what we eat. First thing I'm doing is I love, I'm going to show you first thing I'm doing. First thing I'm so excited about is this six cup snapware pirate glass dish. It has this plastic lid and it snaps and it holds six cups. If you remember... I did a video review on something that I call a hot logic. It's like a heater inside of a lunch kit. So I take it to work with me often. You've seen it in my videos. You've seen my review. If not, be sure and check in the description below because I will show you that. This fits inside of it. And now I can get away from those plastic um, containers since the lid don't actually touch the food and it'll be in glass. The next non-food item is my son got a few bits and pieces. They also have all kinds of stuff. And you can tell by the video I shot of the outside. They have all kinds of stores. He got this little Hot Wheels or actually Matchbox airplane. He got several fidget spinners. This is just the only one of them. He hasn't got to open it. He also bought his two cousins, Luke and Nate, one. Um, this little, I don't know, what is this? Minifigure. I'm sure you guys that have kids and like Minecraft, you've seen these little things. They're usually like $4 for this little tiny thing and we got it for 94 cents. The next mega score <laughs> that my husband likes is he finds this omega-3 krill oil, which can be, let's see if it'll, see if it'll focus for you, yeah. It's $2.99 for this bottle. There are 500 milligrams and there's 45 in each one. I think they're, yeah, so he got three of those because he got three of them for less than what he pays for one bottle at Walmart. Um, I picked up these two face cleansers for me. They were 99 cents. They're for sensitive skin, so I need those. I'm going to try them. I've seen these at Wal uh, Walgreens, I think, for pretty expensive. So, a buck a piece. I like it. These are just um, three bags of cereal. There's the Berry Colossal Crunch, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch knockoff, and the Mini Wheats. No, we do not buy this kind of cereal a lot, but we have company coming in next week for uh, my son's birthday party, my nephews, and, and so this will be quick breakfast for them while we're getting ready for the party. Plus, my son will eat some of it. No lie, he will eat some of it too. So, not even going to print 10. That's some of the stuff that I'm not excited or proud of, but it is what it is. My son likes these uh, tea. This is just like a vanilla Earl Grey tea with some cream. We let him drink a half one a day because it does have caffeine. We found just a few of the Zevias. This is the cola that's sweetened with stevia, and it is the caffeine-free, so, um, so my son can have some also. This is one of my excited moments here. If you know me well, or even if you don't, I'll let you know, I am a coffee nut. So I have a Keurig and a coffee pot because I can drink a pot at a time on bad days. But the pods get kind of expensive, so I don't always get to get those. But over the last few months, thanks to my um, discount grocery store that we found there, um, I get to get all these pods. They are hodgepodge because they these come from, you know, different boxes. Like there's McCafe, which I like, and then there's Cafe Express, and then there's, uh, let's see, see if it'll focus for you. 
Starbucks caramel. And let's see, there's a Panera. Come on, you can do it, little camera. You can do a salted caramel. Anyway, you get the gist. These are 10 cents each, so you can't really beat that. So I grabbed all those. Over here, these are tea because we do like hot tea. I'm trying to drink more tea so I can get back, cut back a little bit on the coffee and the acid for my teeth. Um, so tea for the Keurig and just some hot tea, blueberry and wildberry. We have some sweetly stevia back there that we like. This is more pumpkin spice. You've seen this before. These are two pods in here for a quarter, so about 12 and a half cents each. Then I did splurge. When I say splurge, it was more than 10 cents. I got this new fall Starbucks blend. It's not new, but it's new to me. Uh, it's the fall blend that says hearty with spice. And it come out in, this actually says 2016. So I didn't realize that. I don't know how it will taste, but hopefully it will be okay. I'll let you know. Um, this is just two cans of black olives that are pitted. This is the um, mayonnaise. I prefer Duke's, but hey, we've been finding this at the discount store for 80 cents a jar. Can you see that? And let's see, you can see that the expiration date, let's see if it'll focus. It's February 2018, so this will make six jars that I haven't, let me focus again. There we go, sorry guys. Um, my phone can't keep up with my mouth and all these groceries. So, as you can see, every once in a while you have to be careful, which I didn't see the 2016, but it's coffee. I'm going to try. Everything else I have is in date. I checked it, and so I could check you. So, February 2018. This is some Dolce Leche I'm going to use for my son's birthday cake in his birthday party on October 28th. No, it is not diet-friendly. It is not sugar-free, but it's his birthday, and he how he will have what he wants. This is a cream cheese I found, and it was for 99 cents a block. And I think, yeah, it's good till February 18, too. I got four of those. I picked up these sausages we like to have. You saw them on my menu plan. These are the natural smoked sausages, $1.49 each, which I know I could probably find them better somewhere, but I took it. Let's see. These are good by until November 20th of this year, so plenty of time for us to eat them. We got pepperoni. I got two bags of those because I'm wanting pizza casserole and I'm going to do some of my pizza pinwheels. They were $1.99 a bag and they're also, let's see, good till January 2018. So you can see most of the, focus camera, you can do it. There you go. Here is the meat. Let me go ahead and finish what I'm saying. Most of the stuff that I got at the end date, like I said, I just noticed this one, so I missed that. But I'm going to try it because it's coffee. We're going to move right along because I don't want this video to be so long. We got more bacon, 75 cents a pound, you guys. This is something new. Uh, I did pay $10 for this five-pound box, but I really want to try them out. They are not, they don't have barbecue sauce on them or nothing. They're just riblets with little bones. Can't wait to try those. I'll have to tell you how they are. I got some turkey breast roast here. It says 99% fat-free, so if we do Term Healthy Mama emails, we'll use that. I got that for... It was $1.99 for this package, which is about a little bit over three and a half, four pounds. Chicken breast that we got from All Natural from Tyson, like always, 79 cents. Here's the uh, Natural Raise chicken breast strips. It was also 79 cents. And then this back here is just big boneless, skinless chicken breast. All the chicken here I got was boneless and skinless, so... Uh, I don't know if I told you earlier when I showed my freezer, but I have some dark meat left in there. So that is my $80 haul from the uh, discount grocery store. I don't know if it looks like a lot to you guys, but it's way more than I can get in any store here in my area. So now I'm going to show you my Aldi haul. Alrighty, here is my Aldi haul spread out for you guys. I spent, I think it's about $90 and uh, some change. I don't really remember, but it kind of... I love Aldi, but it just, I got all that meat at the discount store and all the coffee and all that stuff and only spent $80. But, you know, I'm still thankful for Aldi and all this stuff that I could not get at the discount store. So let's start here. If you hear my crazy son in the background, that's because he needs to eat. <laughs> He's going a little crazy on his video games. So I got a pack of red onions. And yes, we got just the dollar pack of flour tortillas at the 
uh, Aldi and because we're having wraps for dinner and I want to get that. My son likes them. It is what it is on grocery day. No judgment, remember. It's not on plan, but that's okay. Three hours later, we'll be right back. I remember I talked to you guys before. If you don't remember me, I had bought this Aldi's apple cider vinegar before for my Turn Healthy Mama Good Girl. Oh, you see that stuff floating around there? Yay! That's the good stuff. This was not in the previous bottle that I bought. And I was so disappointed. But now it has it in it, so I'm extremely excited. I was out. I picked this up. These huge spaghetti squash, this will last us two nights, like one half probably. Um, but I'm going to steam them or cook them all up. They were 99 cents each. These spaghetti squash, if you've never had spaghetti squash, they are a moderately, it's a low carb, much lower than noodle squash. You can steam them or bake them in the oven or microwave and then shred it like noodles. We have it just like pasta with spaghetti sauce and meat and things like that. I got a can of the spray olive oil, some ketchup. I'm going to make my own ketchup. I bought some tomato sauce to do so, but grab this for now. Garlic powder. As always, they were out of the others. I needed like onion powder, but it is what it is. Thankfully, I still have some. I grabbed some of these Fit and Active Turkey Franks, and they're not the best, I know, but Wednesday night for church, I need a quick dinner, and these were the lowest carbs. They were only one carb each. All the other carbs at Aldi's got, sorry, all the other hot dogs at Aldi's had five carbs per hot dog, and I just can't, I just can't see myself eating that. Again, I got the half pork loin. I will cut this in half. Each, uh, our family will eat off one half and have leftovers. Here is the ham and the cheese that we're going to have in our wraps tonight or just wrapped around pickles. However you decide, here's all our frozen vegetables, Brussels sprouts, and green beans. We love those. We're going to move right along because this video is getting longer and longer, and I don't want to bore you guys. We have some cheese dip here. My son asked for some soft pretzels for his birthday in a couple weeks. I just went ahead and picked this up now. We're going to put that up till then. Not the best stuff, but it is what he wants. Mild salsa, unsweetened original almond milk. I have a gallon or this half gallon of vanilla unsweetened in the fridge already. Half and half. Two things of heavy cream. It's not the best heavy cream because it does have the carrageenan in it, but I did pick it up. I have a few recipes I need to try it for. Six dozen eggs. They were 56 cents each, which is way cheaper than we can get in our town. Three blocks of cheese. I got one mild cheddar and two mozzarella. Some for our pizza bake, and then I'm going to make some pinwheels later. Two gallons of whole milk, because we can't always get to the dairy to get the fresh raw milk. Uh, and it's pretty cheap at Aldi's. And all this is so our dogs will not go hungry we do not eat that just a side note for anybody that has any kind of suspicion or worries we have two inside dogs you've probably heard them talking or barking in some of my other videos so they are well fed for the next two weeks and then i have crushed tomatoes three cans of diced tomatoes and tomato sauce for my homemade ketchup our spaghetti sauce and our pizza sauce i'll be making all this i got all that at aldi that is the all of that also I was so mad at myself, I'm, I walked right out of Aldi without butter, so we had to stop on the way home to get the almond flour anyway from Walmart. This is my favorite kind. It is a two-pound bag for 11 I think it's eleven ninety-eight at Walmart. So we had to pick up that, so I said grab the butter because I walked straight out of Aldi without it. Some unflavored Jello packs because I need that. Yet another one of my son's fidget spinners that I found in the Aldi haul. So there's Walmart and Aldi and that is it guys. I still had to put all this away and I hope you've enjoyed seeing what we bought.